we, what we've commonly called the top secret Al the car show because we don't we don't really want more people showing up at this show because there's a, enough here. Uh, this is Peter. He has a, a rather unique Porsche. There's lots of Porsches here. Right. Right. Of all, all shapes and sizes. Exactly. Uh, but you have something that's it's a little bit different. Right. It's all custom built. Right. Uh, you just got back from SEMA. Mm -hmm. uh, g give these guys kind of a gist as to you know why this car and what you've done to it. Yeah, so this is basically a 993, um, and it's our version of the uh, air-cooled GT3 RS. The car is made out of uh, carbon fiber entirely, and it weighs 2,670 pounds, and it has 431 horsepower. So the power-to-weight ratio is actually better than a uh, 991 GT3 RS. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. phenomenal. And what, what was the build time? How long did it take? It took a little over a year. Okay. Yeah. So did you start around the time that uh, SEMA last year? Somewhere around there, right afterwards, yeah, we started that. With the goal of putting it in SEMA? The goal was actually to make Quill, doing all the design where we really wanted it to look like something that came directly out of Porsche. Yeah. It had to look factory, it does. look aftermarket, yeah. so that was our goal. Do you think having that kind of deadline is good for you guys? Yes, I think I do think that it put us under pressure, and uh, I think we managed to pull through. I mean, when we hit record weight numbers and power numbers, so I mean, I think it was good that we had that pressure behind us. Yeah, well, phenomenal job. Thank you. It looks really good. Thank you. This, the shenanigans with all these guys, you know, with all these cars, all these toys. Uh, you know, women don't do this, do they? Oh, every day. I know they do. Especially, much worse, especially much you. Worse than men. Uh, you have a, quite an extraordinary uh, T-Bird. Thank you. What, what was the what's the official color of that car? Fiesta red, which is a one-off color. It, it's spectacular. Then that was the whole reason of purchasing it, just because of the color. Did, did you get it just the way it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the original owner sold it because wife got older mm -hmm. and unfortunately she felt really uncomfortable so she said I'd rather have a new little Porsche. Oh. I know. Well, I know but at least she got something cool right. to replace exactly. it with but good for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. David Freeman. You, yeah. Come over here and say hello to Fireball. Hi. You know Fireball? Hi. How you doing Fire? Hey I'm David. I'll get out of the picture. Okay. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Bunch of kooks at this show. What uh, What turns your Twinkie today? What What do you like? Oh. Well I first like always love the Tatra here because that's just yeah. such an unusual beautiful car. It is. Yeah. I, I think that uh, most people would, would see a Tatra once in a lifetime but we yeah. get to see it all the time. Yeah. And I've, this is not the first one I've seen here around. So it's two. So it's pretty yeah. neat. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you got your, did you bring your van in? Yeah, both of them. And okay. Ron, come over here. This is my friend Ron. <laughs> People, come on over. This is Ron Vaccaro. What's up, Ron? Ron and I went to high school together, so he drove out my new one and I drove out my old one. So you've known each other for a couple years now? A couple years, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 50 years. Plus. Where Where'd you go to high school? Rochester, New York. In okay. Gates oh, That explains a lot. Gage New Yorkers. Gates Chilock. Yeah, you guys just get into the into paradise. Yep. Yeah. And somebody said Frank has a friend, and they go, "Hey, to come all the way three thousand miles to prove to prove that I had one friend." <laughs> Support your local bartender? Yes. You know, it's like since the morning, man. These are hardworking people, but I'm not drunk. <laughs> Good Lord. It's a general ethos, Fireball. Yeah. It's a general ethos. It's about middle America. Yep. It's about hardworking Americans trying to serve some drinks. Uh, you know, I, I have a, a, a big concern. What's that? And that is, I'm trying to think of what I should tattoo on my calves. Well, like, you can't like have you. gas and clutch. That's mine. Uh, you just got a brand new portion. What's that? Brand pink? new old. It's behind us. Look, yeah. adjust. There it is. It's, it's kind of. Be, uh, it's pink. It's a very sexy color. It's pink. It's cassis red. And there's you, a lot of. You must be very there's confident debate over in your manhood. No, when you're buying a Porsche, yeah, condition and all that sort of. Pretty much everything about it is more important than the color. True. And I bought it with the intention of painting it. Although now I bought it sight unseen, yeah. and I had it inspected locally because it was far away. That's because all the women are coming up and saying, oh, "I love your car." Everyone loves the color. Honestly, I, here's the problem with colors: is that I'm actually colorblind, uh, and this color is a bit like chameleony. It's it's not. It's like a little iridescent, and it changes on the light, the light angle and stuff. And so, so what? I can't trust myself okay. to choose a good color. I have a specific wardrobe. It's like I can't mess it up because I used to because I'm I'm a bartender shirt. Okay. So what colors do you have difficulty with? Red, green, green, brown, blue, purple. So pretty much every all color. Of them, all of them. Yeah. It's horrible. I can read a sign that's like way far away. Yeah. But I can't. But colors are a disaster. You're, you're a mess, buddy. So, you're a mess. so with this one where it's a different color at every light, I genuinely. Well, I, like I have to listen to other people's opinion, but the problem is everyone has such a strong opinion about it. And so well, you bought the car, so you must have. Yeah, no, the good news is it yeah. works properly. Yeah. And what's it got uh, that that most Porsches don't have? Other than you it's drive. Pink. Uh, what's it have that most Porsches don't have? Yeah. Anything, anything special? Full coverage insurance. I don't know. Uh, anything special? No, it's a stock two-owner car. It's okay. a, it's an '87. It's a 3.2 with a G50 gearbox and a and a whale tail, and it's pink over Merlot. It's the only a G body Porsche out there that doesn't leak oil. It, it, I That's the, the difference right the there. The garage doesn't leak any oil. Awesome. Beautiful. Thanks, Fireball. All right. Always good to see you. Maybe you don't have to thank me. Every time I bring you things, might be flowers and chocolate. Or even a diamond ring I can tell what I need to know From the way you hold me tight From the way you hug and kiss me All through the night Top secret Malibu car show a Pretty good turnout today What makes this show today truly spectacular Is just the clouds that are out I mean, check that out Gorgeous Look at all that You don't have to wear it if my ring weighs you down But no, I'll love you till the end of days That's what my love is all about Yeah, yeah, I'll love you till the end of days That's what my love is all about Going to car shows like these are always fun. Not only do you get to talk to people and uh, converse with stories and things like that, but you actually get to see their cars, and their cars are almost automotive versions of them. You guys have seen different people here on the vlog, and as we talk to them and we reveal their cars, the cars reveal aspects of them that you wouldn't normally see just on the front cover. And you can tell a lot about a person 
by the kind of car that they drive, about what their mindset is. The whole point of this show is to maintain a positive outlook, to bring cars, beach life, and all things cool into your life in some way. And hopefully that'll inspire you to take one of your cars and go to a car show, or to do something that's fun that you love. Now life is filled with all kinds of bumps and bruises and curves and, and ups and downs. That's true, but it's not really about those things. It's how you perceive those things. It's how you look at those things. And it's also true that your cup of tea may not be someone else's cup of tea, but that really doesn't matter. All that matters is what does it mean to you? And if you think it's cool, then that's all that matters. This world has way too much judgment, way too much criticism. And that's one thing you're not gonna find here on the blog. What you will find is cool people having a cool old time and sharing their amazing stories. And if you'll allow me to bring some beauty into your life, after a while, you may see some pretty cool things. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm very grateful that you hang out with me. The quality of our lives is determined by the quality of our choices. And in order to make really good quality choices, you gotta be present. You gotta be aware of what it is that you're doing. You wouldn't go to a car dealership, close your eyes, and just point and hopefully get something cool. Put a vision into your mind as to what you want. Hold on to that vision, make it crystal clear, and then go out and get it. All right, the Ferrari show is coming, Wheels and Waves is coming, all kinds of cool stuff is coming, and at Wheels and Waves, I'm gonna be giving away a million bucks. Actually, 10 million bucks. And if you're lucky, you might just go home a little bit chocolate richer.